back again on the RMS channel. So we have got 2018 Transit. She's doing no rear lights. Let's just show you what we got. So there we go. We've got one reverse light and an indicator working. All the rear lights are on. We've checked the brake lights, they're not working. Apparently all he done was damage that rear light. It went out, he's changed that cluster. He actually booked it in just all on one side, but no sides are working. But he did say that side stopped when he banged it. Does he know? Who knows? So let's get into it. Let's have a look what he's doing. Let's have a go. So we'd normally just go straight for the bulb, check everything there. But I did want to give it a quick scan because these are the ones what you, if it sees a short circuit in there, it just needs a code clear. He did say he's had that done at a garage before we double check. It's got a fault code for, although I've cleared them now, um, for every one, right hand indicator, both brake lights, both side lights. So yeah, I'm thinking we're going to go and check the bulbs. Just do basic checks first, check your earths, check your bulbs, make sure we're all okay. It could just be something basic. He's fitted a lamp, he's taking it to a garage. They are going too deep into it and just gone nut, go and see Bob. So let's see what we've got in the back. Pull them lamp clusters off, see what's going on. We'll tell you what's on with that side. As we took the light lens off, the bulb fell out. So that'll knock out your side light and your brake light. It was that one. So we pulled this one out. Uh, all the bulbs are checking out okay. Because sometimes you get these and they they don't come with bulbs in. And people just use the old ones. But most of them are working. I haven't actually... Yeah. So these look fairly new, so I assume it come with new bulbs. Oh no. <laughs> Indicator bulb's dead. Brilliant. So, yeah, goes to show, check the basics. And then we've checked everything and it's got no readings on the earth, no nothing. Pulled the plug out. And we've got readings on them. It doesn't feel like it's going in correctly. I've got a little rubber down them, which is hard to get past. So I'm going to spray a little squirt on that, push it in, see if we get a reading on it, put some new bulbs in it, see what's not working, and then work through it from there. We've got a full house. Uh, just put your phone on the brake, Barney. Off. Okay, in reverse. And fog light. What's up with the fog light? There we go. So, we've got everything apart from brake lights. So, right, turn it all off, mate. So, everything was working apart from that. I will go and clear the fault code because, yeah, they can get the ump and maybe where it had no bulbs in it, it didn't like it. Um, and if not, we've got to go down that route. Well, this is going to be quite a boring video. So, I'll check that and we'll find out what's going on. Right, before we go too far, what we're going to do is try and activate the rear lamps. We can go into 399 into outputs, go into stop lamps, turn them on. So, showing on, showing off. Nothing on there. So, let's have another quick look. What we'll do, let's go and put you on a bench. We'll have a quick look at see if the brake light switch is working. You think it's working because the output should work, but the problem you sometimes have is some scan tools say they do it and they won't. Um, I don't know, you know, so you can't always go, well, it should be activating. Let's just look down that area. Let's just make sure the brake light switch is working work it as it should be and uh yeah let's see if that is seeing the brake light before we shut the brake light switch out test the lives to it etc if this is saying it's seeing a brake light as we push it on and off we know sort of that's working so let's have a look at that right so we've got brake light switch status we've got output of the high level i don't know if it's got one but definitely the main stops so let's put a foot on the brake i know you can't see my pretty little face but High level brake light active. 
and stop lamp is set on and then set off. So, won't check fuses, won't check the brake light switch, but if the transistor's turning on to tend it back down to there, if it hasn't got power into the body control module, it could be down that side. But let me just show on the diagram what I'm sort of thinking. Right, so the way this system works is you've got your switch, which has got a fuse down to it. You've got a fuse down to the switch. When you put the brake on, it tells the body control module that you've done it. That's what it just looked like in the data. We know that's okay. Then it gives an output down this wire. So it gets its own power into this. It doesn't have its own power into the body control separately fused for one. So, hmm, I say we've tried telling this to put power down lights didn't light up so right so one thing i did notice on the left hand bulb what had fallen out that was a bit grubby i haven't checked that i haven't checked we've actually got power going to it and that plug was going in the right hand side that was a bit iffy as well so what i think we're going to do what i would normally do now is go to plug c on the body control see if we've got output from it but I think what we're going to do, because we've got possibly two points of failure, we're going to go straight to the back, pull that plug out, put our foot on the brake, see if we've got power down there. If we have, we know it's just contacts into the back of the, uh, the lamps. <sighs> see? Not as easy as people think. But, uh, yeah, let's go and check that. Let's get, uh, yeah, I'm going to turn the ignition on. I'm going to lock the brake pedal on, go to the back, see if we've got power down it. Hopefully it's that. Right, we've got the brake locked on. <laughs> we have got power to that terminal. I put a new bulb in it. The bulb's definitely okay, isn't it? This is another thing. Some bulbs are made faulty. Right, both working. Really? Well, the side light works, we ain't got earth. <coughs> Doesn't come. Ah, there we go. Oh. So, look at that. So, we're getting volt drop down here. If we remove the bulb, we got a voltage, as soon as we put it in, under load, it drops away. But look at all the crusties down here, all corroded away. So I would think a terminal behind is going to be bad. Chance of it being further up, pretty remote. So let's pull that off. Before we do that, let's go and check the other side, because if we put the volt, if it's got a volt drop, say, at the body control, it would knock it out from this side, we know it's coming down here, so it's got to be a volt drop there, surely, because we've got a bulb in that side. So if I've got a bad connection on that side, oh man, let's pull, let's pull this plug out. <coughs> so we've got a, which one was it? There. Oh, we've got it. We've got voltage there. So it's not a volt drop down the wiring. It's got to be both on both plugs. It's got to be. Problem is, this is a sort of aftermarket. But I don't think they do aftermarket. I think I don't think Ford make them themselves. Just make sure our pins are fairly tight. But I think. We're still struggling to get a good connection on this side. This is the problem when you're doing things like this. It loses you down the bar garden path because you're blinkered, because you're looking at one thing. Both brake lights are not working. But what's the reason? Could be two reasons. So bad connection on this. Just tweaked it up a bit. So got a bit of an issue with the rubber. This was never pushed back in right, and I think it's distorted the rubber. 
the ceiling part of it. Let's get a, oh, let's get a pick. that off. Oh man, it's all been mangled in there. Ugh. So, pop that back on. See if it makes a good contact now. That's better. Right, brake lights on. Just gonna put all the other lights on, make sure they're all working. Brake lights off, sides on. Hazards reverse and fog. Da -da. Right, let's put the uh, brake light back on, make sure that's working. Watch that on. There we go, job's carrot. So, just got the other side to look at. So, it originally come in for driver's side not working. I bet he doesn't even know that this side isn't working. So, let's see if we can get it cleaned up a tad. Oh, it's manky. Right. Let's just do a lot check on that one as well. Make sure they're still working. They do a... That's got a little sub loom on it. So here we go, let's take the foot off the brake. Sides, reverse, hazards. Probably hasn't got a fog like that side. Oh no it has, no it hasn't. So that's all working. Foot on the brake, make sure the brake light working. Ah, still no good. So. So I'll give that a bit of a clean up, make sure it's all okay. <sighs> See what we can do. So there we go, they're sort of working. Was going down the garden path of this and that, and you know, could it be body control, could it be short circuits? Just worked out the same basic. So, but what I'm going to advise him, I'd get a new unit on there. They do a little sub loom. Let's just show you. Loom comes out of here, goes along, joins in there. I think the same the other side. Yeah, exactly the same. There's no point in us spending an hour cleaning them up, trying to make them better when we've got issues with it. Diagnosis is done. His normal garage can finish that off. We'll get it back together. He can get back on the road. He can get working. So let's get back together, get everything buttoned up, make sure it all works, and I'll see you when I've done it. Sorry, couldn't be a bit more interested on this one. Obviously, we had no connection on this side, a bulb falling out the other side, a bad connection on the other side and a faulty new indicator bulb on this side. So four different faults that's come in, meant to be one fault, whole rear light wasn't working as you see. So can't all be interested in uh, some of the other videos, but it is what it is. Let's get on to the next one.